Hi, my name is Joe. In this video, I'm going to talk about what is the PO injector. The PO injector is pretty much like the power data or the charge we have with our mobile phone. Instead, it's not send the power to the mobile phone, it will add the power to the Ethernet cable. As you know, the user use this Ethernet cable to send the data between the two IP device. But now with the PO injector, we also can add the power so the power will travel through the data together to the edge device such like the IP camera, access point, or VoIP phone. If your edge device, this edge device also accepts the PoE, then you don't need the power source at the edge. So where the cable go, the power will, and the data will arrive. Okay, now I'm going to walk you to the washboard and see how the PoE injector can power this IP device. Let's go. This is very typical PoE IP camera setup. I've just used the Ethernet cable to connect the router to our IP camera. Meanwhile, we also need a power source so we can supply the power to the IP camera. Now I'm going to use this PO injector so you can send the power through the router. Eventually, we will be able to remove the power source at the camera. Most of the PO injector have two Ethernet ports. One is the PoE port. It's supposed to connect the cable from the remote IP device. And the second port is LAN port. You need to link back to our router in this case. So first I'm going to remove the cable from the router. Now I'm going to connect to the PoE port. And we also need a short punch code. So this short punch code will link the LAN port back to our router. It's getting the data from the router. There's still one port, it's called a power port. It's getting the AC power from the AC outlet. Don't worry, but the PoE is safety because it's not going to send the AC power directly through the Ethernet cable. It will convert to the DC safety by the DC 48 to DC 55, depending on how the PO injector decides. Okay, now I'm going to get the power to the PO injector. Once you input, you can see the power indicator is on, the PoE is on, which means now the PoE injector is sending the power to our IP camera. Okay, now let's move to the IP camera. Now I can remove the power source from the IP camera. We got the power from the Ethernet cable. Let me just put it back. Now you can see the motor is running. This is motorized zoom camera. The zoom is zoom in, zoom out, which means the camera is getting the power. Here we also have the VoIP phone. It's working pretty much the same. Now let me just remove the cable and try to power the VoIP phone. Once put on, you can see the indicator is on, which means the VoIP phone is also getting the power. And we also have the access point. Okay, let's just tr try this access point. It's pretty much the same. You don't need additional power source. Well, you need just single internet cable. Now the cable is going to send both power and data to this access point. The one thing you really need to know is about the passive PoE. All the equipment we have here is the active PoE. But now I got the passive PoE injector. What's the difference between this active and passive PoE? First, the voltage is different. Like this one, the passive PoE injector uses DC24 voltage. But for standard PoE equipment, we usually use the DC48 to DC55. So if we use the, this passive PoE injector to try to power all this equipment, it will not work. The reason is because the voltage is incorrect. More importantly, it may damage your equipment. Why? Because in the standard PoE equipment that has power handshaking, like this PoE injector, it will detect and verify your edge device can take in the power. Otherwise, it will not send the power through this Ethernet cable. So it's very safety to use the standard PoE. But for the passive PoE, it has removed the power handshaking. It will send the power, inject the power anyway. So if you don't know what you're dealing with, try to avoid the passive PoE. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.